you've got to be able to have a very clear vision of your business idea. When you're striving to become successful, there's gonna to be tons of people constantly in your ear and telling you that you aren't good enough and you can't do things because you're not as good as them or whatever the case may be. You need to completely drown those people out. Don't even pay attention to them. If they're your best friends and they're telling you this, you need to cut them off from your life because they are no good, not helping you one bit at all. In the entrepreneurial dictionary, action comes straight after decision. Committing to get things done is an invaluable ally on your road to success. You're not gonna become successful if you have people around you telling you that you have zero chance of becoming successful because then you're gonna start believing that and that will completely derail your path to success. You need to constantly be in a positive state of mind in which you believe that whatever you're doing is possible because if you believe it, then you can do it. You need to wake up every morning and believe in yourself and what you're doing is the right thing for you because when you stop thinking that, that's when people start getting in your head and you stop believing in yourself and then you just give up on your dreams and it was a waste of time. You need to be passionate about your business. You need to be passionate about what you do. If you really wanna go after your dreams, you're gonna put yourself every day in a positive mindset, knowing that whatever you're doing is in the best interest of yourself so that you can grow and mature and enlighten yourself as a human being to be the best that you can each and every single day. You wake up and try to be better than you were the day before. You will gain so much from that and it will truly pay dividends if you believe you're constantly in a positive place because that way you're gonna be so much more productive. If I look back at my own history, when I look at what I wanted out of life, like this are very difficult but I'm going to be a little bit controversial and actually say that for an entrepreneur this is the time and there are many entrepreneurs that I speak to that are out there that are saying do you know what I'm pleased this has happened this is a time for me now to step up this is a time for my business to really go up to the plate this is the time where the competition that was out there that wasn't that good is disappearing recession in my mind can drive innovation and the reason for that, quite simply, is because we can do more with less. We are forced to do more with less. I wanted to tell you why. Why National Enterprise Academy? Well, would you believe that up until this was started, we didn't have a fully accredited National Enterprise Academy in this country? The spark that made me want to do this was actually in my own business. And some of you might resonate with this thought process. You know what, that's one of the things now that actually weirdly affects me because even though you see the, the harsh side, you know, for me, there's a real, people really touch me, so that's really difficult. And in fact, I'll give you one quick story. There was one guy that came in, Ross, and he had this idea, and it was basically a, a product that was sort of, it was noodles-based product, but it wasn't there, it just, and he gave a backstory to his, his, his current situation. He'd just lost, um, his wife just lost a child, um, he, they'd lost a child, and it was just, heartbreaking. He was crying. Um, the pitch was clearly not going very well. He wanted £50,000 um, for this, this idea. And we actually stopped filming halfway through at one point because it was, all of us were just in a state. He came back in, he, did, he redid his pitch, and I just made that impromptu decision. I don't know, you know, because of that, I just said, you know what, no, all the other dragons went out, and I said, Ross, you want 50,000 pounds, I'm gonna give you 50,000 pounds for 50% of a business, I don't even know what it's gonna be yet. So I invested in him, basically. But there's one thing that I truly believe anyone can make their dreams become reality and live out their own story of entrepreneurial success. They just have to believe that they can do it. Every entrepreneur's story starts with the aspiration to succeed. Awakening this aspiration is the main focus of Global Entrepreneurship Week. Global Entrepreneurship Week provides a great opportunity to celebrate with entrepreneurs from around the globe by bringing them together to share their experiences and their successes. This initiative and the enthusiasm to take part in it across the globe shows that enterprises become a language that can be understood in any country. Aspiration is only the start. There is a lot to learn in working towards business success. This is why I founded the first ever National Enterprise Academy, or as I would call it, a tycoon academy. The academy will nurture the entrepreneurial talent that I know so many young people have. The first in a national network of academies will open their doors in September 2009. So what else would I recommend to aspiring young entrepreneurs? Follow your passion. 
If you happen to love what you do, you are more likely to enjoy the hard work and focus all your energy on making a business a success. You've got to be able to have a very clear vision of your business idea. Without it, you won't actually know where you're going. So in the year 2000, I set up Generation Telecom, and Generation Telecom was a business that supplied airtime to the rail users. I believe that I could set up and manage this business, and within two or three years, sell out to the major networks. Well, within three years, we successfully sold it to Vodafone, making millions of pounds. But without that vision at the outset, my business would not have gone the way that it did. You need to research your idea so that you've covered off not just all the competition in the market, but you've checked and double-checked whether your idea is likely to work or not. So many people today start up a business because they do it on the back of a whim. They need to research the market, they need to discuss how feasible it is, and then ask questions. How am I going to get out of the business? Who am I going to sell it to? Who are the competitors in the market? Who are my suppliers? How much money do I need to start the business? How will I market the company? There's a lot to consider, but research and feasibility are fundamentally important when starting a new business.